Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I found something really special and I really hope that you find it useful. In today's tutorial we will deploy our own PDF manipulation server called Sterling PDF. Sterling PDF is a fully open source chat GPT mate application and has really evolved to include all the necessary features that you would like to use with your PDF workflow. And what can I say is that it can definitely replace Adobe Acrobat. So if you are looking for alternative, how we can save a lot of money if you have many team members, many team licenses, and Sterling PDF can definitely help you out. As you can see, I'm on their GitHub page. Uh, you can read more what it can do. And also, I created uh, documentation so you can follow along and you can deploy your own Sterling PDF uh, server. How we will deploy it? Uh, we're going to use uh, Cloudflare Zero Trust because by default the application is open. There is no user authentication, but you can set it up if you want to go that route. But I found with Cloudflare uh, Zero Trust is really easy to do and you can add authentication if you want to. So follow along and uh, deploy your own Sterling PDF. Let's get started. So let me talk a little bit about the Sterling PDF features. Uh, you can read on the documentation portal. As you can see, you can reorganize PDF pages. You can rotate, remove pages, scale uh, page content size, adjust contract, uh, uh, contrast, crop PDF. Every PDF operations that you want to use, you have access to it. Also, there are different uh, conversion operations. You can convert PDFs and from images. You can convert any common files using LibreOffice to PDF, Word, PowerPoint, others to PDF, HTML, URL, or even Markdown. So it's really uh, versatile. For the security and permissions, uh, you can uh, protect PDF with passwords. You can remove the password authentication. You can change set PDF permissions, add water, uh, watermarks, certify, you can sign the PDF, sanitize, auto-redact text, and also the other operations you can read on the GitHub page or in this documentation. So what are the requirements for this? Uh, I recommend uh, at least two gigabyte server. And if you want to get really high performance server that are really cost effective, I definitely recommend Hetzner. You can use this link for Hetzner Cloud to get $20 credit to your account. Also for the domain, ideally in Cloudflare. If you want to use Cloudflare Zero Trust, if not, you will need to set up Nginx Proxy Manager to proxy Sterling PDF service with HTTPS. And most importantly, you need to have your server secure because if you're going to use it in production, and you use server out of the box, there will be really high chance that your server is not secured. You can check the security guide, how you can secure your server, or feel free to contact me and I would be able to help you. All right, so uh, let's get started with the installation. But first thing, what we want to do is to create our Cloudflare tunnel. So when you open your Cloudflare Zero Trust account, we go to the access, go to tunnels. We're going to create a new tunnel. You can name it like Sterling PDF. We're going to save the tunnel. We will use Debian or Ubuntu. That's the same 64 bit architecture. And you copy this first command to your clipboard. And now you navigate to your uh, terminal. 
So as you can see, this is the fresh uh, server that I deployed for this tutorial. And you just paste this. Connection reset. All right. All right. The second time it worked. There was some error. And now when we move to, to our Cloudflare, we should already see the connection. And as you can see, we have the connection. So we click next. Uh, for the subdomain, we can use, in this case, PDF, webnastify.cloud. Uh, for the type, you select HTTP, localhost, colon, and now you specify which port you want this application to run on your server. And we can set it up to 6,500. Six Let's select the domain first. All right. And we can click Save Tunnel. Make sure to remember this port because we will need it in our Sterling PDF installation file. So once we have the, our tunnel and our domain, what you want to do is to scroll to the Docker engine installation script. You copy this uh, quick start installation script or you can follow the official guide so let me copy it go back to terminal paste that and it will automatically install docker and all related services all right so our docker is installed we can ver verify it by running docker v and we have the latest build so let's move back to our installation. And what we need to copy is the Docker Compose file. You copy this in the clipboard. You go back to the terminal. And first of all, what I recommend is to create a new folder for all of your Docker instances. So it's going to be mkdri docker. Now we navigate to Docker by typing cd docker and here we're gonna create our folder for this pdf software so mkdir pdf double percent cd pdf and let me do nano docker compose that yaml and now we paste the installation file and here, what we need to take care of is to change the port because we specify 6500. And also here, we're going to need to add our own location. So we want to store this data on our disk. So we're going to come from control O, enter exit. Now we type PWD. And we have the folder path. And again, we're going to edit it in the Docker Compose. Like this. I'm going to remove this. We're going to paste our, our path. Control O, enter to confirm. Control X to exit. And now we can run our containers by typing docker compose up hyphen d and it will pull the pdf software and all the necessary images depending on the network speed it can take a couple of seconds or minutes yes, it really all right so now we can verify it if our service is running, we're going to type docker ps. And as you can see, status is up and ports 6500. So when we now navigate to our URL, we specify in Cloudflare Zero Trust. So we can do pdf.webnastify.cloud. 
and we have our own uh, locally self-hosted PDF tool for all your needs. So now we can explore some of the functions that uh, you can use. In the top bar, you have uh, the page operations, merge, split, organize, remove, crop, and you can also convert a lot of files to PDF and also you can convert from PDF to another file if you need. So let me just for the demonstration, uh, we can convert the image for PDF. So we're going to choose our image. And I can do this one. For the image fit options, as you can see, you can fill the page. You can fit page to image or maintain the expert ratio. So we're going to select fit page. Color grayscale bl black and white you may lose data so rather use grayscale and for this we're gonna choose color and yeah we can convert it uh, we can save it and now we can open it and as you can see the image fill the PDF page another great feature is that you can add your watermarks so we're gonna open our pdf for example this image we converted watermark text alphabet roman some pdf and we can add our watermark we can save it and as you can see we have our watermark no Adobe Acrobat Pro needed. You can use this free and open source tool. That's really great, isn't it? Okay, you can also add, pay, add numbers to your pages. You can add password, or if you receive some PDF with password protection, you can remove it for free. You can also compress PDF, uh, change metadata. You can fill up, uh, fill up various uh, things that you want to keep and uh, yeah you can also sign the pdf i'm gonna choose my pdf you can draw signature or you can do text input Magnetify. i can choose various fonts I want to add And we can download the PDF. And here is our signed PDF. Okay. So I think that's pretty it. It's a really cool project that uh, I recently discovered. And I'm definitely going to keep it on my own server. So I don't need to pay anymore for Adobe Acrobat. So there's another another money saved and uh, yeah it you can create users you can keep it on your intranet for all of your employees so at the end you will save a lot of money yeah so yeah if you really like this project you can uh, support this open source of development by donating to the developers via GitHub, or you can buy them a coffee if you like it. That's the, the only way how you can su support your favorite projects to keep up with updates, bug fixes, or adding new features. Yeah. So uh, I hope you give it a try. You set it up on your own servers. And if you have any issues or questions, feel free to leave comments down down below and i'll be happy to answer all your questions and uh, next week or week after we will start our brand new uh, tutorial series where we will set up our enhance enhance infrastructure how we can use enhance and those kind of good things it's also like the same we have 
with the run cloud. So stay tuned, be awesome, and see you guys later. Bye bye.